What's up? What are you doing in the service elevator? How did you know that? Never I... mind. Get, come on. Did you come know on. that I was in there? No, I heard banging. I thought it was somebody on the Who's staff. To find come on. You? Do you realize that? Well, here I am. And here you are. I don't understand it. When did you get back Can to we town? talk about my itinerary when I get you out? Come on. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with you? I'm fine, I'm fine. She's all right. She's okay. I just I can't take the head elevator. We should have taken the stairs because I can't. Listen, huh? just a little bit of turbulence, okay? Elevators don't fall down. Only in the movies. They do it in my building when I was nine. Oh, snap. I forgot about that, Mrs. Perez. Can yeah. you please go for a walk down memory lane when I'm you not don't here? I understand Miss Perez lived in her building and there's a incident. Let me guess. The elevator fell all the way down. All the way down. All the way. She used to have nice nightmares in there. I still have the nightmares. Well, it must be I very scary nice. for you. Can you just get us out, please? Because I all can't right. breathe. You can breathe. This is a I lot can't. of oxygen. There's air. You're not going to run out of air. Right. Are you going to get us out? No? Yeah. Come on, damn door. What was that? What was that? What did Alan do to this elevator? I don't understand. I don't know. Oh, okay. Don't worry. I'm working on it. Come on! All right, that's good. We can do all that right there. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, give me your stuff. Give me the bed. Okay. Watch your feet. All right, ready? One, two. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here. Yeah, really? What about this business? Or would you forget we were married? Did I forget we were married? And so we're going to go someplace, okay, in private and have a little conversation. No, I like it here. This way, if I get upset, I can throw you down the elevator shaft. No, no, we're going to go talk about this, but we're going to talk about it calmly. Okay, fine. And I will ask you calmly why you slept with Natalia. I'll ask you calmly why you slept with Dylan. Calmly. <laughs> brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. CPR oxygen? Yeah, I could use a hit of oxygen. And after we fix the elevator, so we can, thank you, thank you, fix the elevator so that we can get out of this building, we're going to go on to something more important, which is stopping overdevelopment in this town, stopping the Spaldings from tearing, destroying people's homes. That's what life's all about, isn't it? It's about the preservation of family and of our loved ones. Harley, right? Harley? What? What, what? A good, sound family is the most important thing. That's exactly right, like our family. Oh, yes, I love my family. Gus, Harley, my two sons, Coop, Frank. They're the reason I'm running for mayor. So that they and their grandchildren and their grandchildren can have the hometown that I... Uh, mistakenly took for granted. It's what we have to fight for. 
It's Harley. Tell him about Gus's house that he built for you. Ah, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Recessed lighting and uh, copper plumbing. It's bright, spacious. It's a good house. Ah, uh, just one minute. Okay, Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, what? I am your biggest cheerleader, and I want this for you. I can't do this right Honey, now. I need you tonight. I know, I know it's rough. Daddy, it's more serious than okay, that. Okay, it's real tough. But I mean, what? you can't run from it. You just gotta have to face it as a couple. I don't know how to do you that. You just did it. You stand by his side, you smile, and you remember all the good things you have. You're asking a lot. Hey, help me out, guys. A little smile here. All right. Frank. Dad. Excuse me. Okay. Whatever is going on with us, we have to stuff it down before we deal with it, okay? This is a very big night for my we father. Just stand right here. We can pretend. What's the big deal? Yes. So smile. I don't have a lot of experience. Uh, what do you call it? Governing? I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no experience governing. But my door will always be open to you. I'm just a cook and I run a restaurant, and I, but I want to serve you. <laughs> oh, I'm wittily witty. Oh, that's me. very funny. Uh, enjoy the party. Hey, guys, let me get one more shot. Yeah, sure. Come on. Hey, guys. Say yes, come, come on. on, look closer. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. A little closer, please. A little closer, please. Closer. Right, give me a smile. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, look. You guys are gonna be okay if you act like you love each other. You'll find out you do. How would you like to work tonight? Right now? Yeah, we're short-staffed. I can pay you double time. Um, where do I change? So would you like me to throw him off the balcony? Thanks for your support, Frank. I think you know how I feel. Go take care of Daddy. Don't. I missed you too. I shouldn't have, but I did. Well, if you want to be technical about it, I shouldn't be missing you either. Let's not. Are you working? Yeah. They're paying me double. You better give me one of those. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back, OK? OK. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, Rafe. Hey. <sighs> Ma, what is it? I got stuck in an elevator. Oh, man, did you freak again? Yeah, I freaked. You know how I hate them. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, that totally sucks. Were you alone? Come here. I'm actually glad that you're back. Actually. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. uh, can I get anyone anything? Something to eat, drink, that chainsaw? Girls, excuse me for a second. Yeah, it's enough. <laughs> It's just a sip. Like it's funny, no, that's it. It's not good for you, and it's pressing this room. It's not good for us. He's laughing. Is right. this your son? Yes, this is my son. Mrs. Raphael. Ayatoro, you have a very handsome boy. No, that's not, that's not, uh, that's not Rape's mother. His mom, he's a different mom. All right, that, that's my mom. The waitress. 
Well, she's a lot more than just a waitress. Oh, much more. All right, everybody have a drink. I'm going to get a tall one for my daughter. Hi. Actually, I'm fine. This is hard enough without you hovering around. Well, I'm working, so I can't leave. Oh, you didn't tell your boss you almost died in his elevator? Nope. Of course not. Gus is here. You want to be here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think I should have to remind you that Gus is still a married man and I am still his wife. Okay, if you want to start pulling rank, I was here first and I have his son. I thought you didn't go after married men. I know, we did talk a lot about that. But things have changed and I have changed my mind. Take that, look at that. That's Nick. That's Nick when we were in high school and we were together. See, he looks about Rafe's age. Yeah, he looks young. Way too young to know what he wanted. We were kids, we were both kids. You weren't there, you didn't see him grow up. I knew his father, Joe, I knew his mother. I have as much history with Nick Augustino as you do with Gus Itoro, maybe more. We are not two high school girls arguing about who he's taking to the prom. That boy? He grew up. He fell in love with and married me. Yeah, only because it was too dangerous to be with the girl he really loved, which was me. I have done a lot of thinking about this. I have asked myself a million questions. And you know what? Oh, my God. You're going after him. I'm not going to disappear anywhere. You have had a lot of years with him that I missed out on. And if you two are supposed to be together and you're going to work it out, then fine. But if not, I'm going to be right here. Yeah, yeah. Making sure you do everything so that we separate. Oh, God, you know, I'm not out to hurt you hard. What do you think you're, you're doing not to me? If he is supposed to be with me, who am I to say no? And I think maybe he deserves to be happy. What makes you so sure he's not happy with me? Your marriage is not perfect like It was damn near perfect before you showed up. Not really. That's... That's not what your brother Frank said. What? Mm -hmm. And after he told me about all the times that you broke up, I figured actually maybe he really would be happier with me. When I came back here, I realized that he was right. This is home. There's nothing like it. Right, honey? Whatever you say, Dad. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Listen. This is family. It's parents and kids. After the separation we had, it's everything, right? Everything. I don't know what I would do without my father. Or your brother. Get back to me on that one. <laughs> Just kidding. I love my family. They are everything to me, and um, I can't ever imagine. Harley. Harley. Go away. Ma'am, please uh, leave the bathroom. I have to wash my hands. I understand. Springfield Police Department. This woman is uh, armed and dangerous. I am not talking to you. She's going in there to load her weapon, so I would really damn if you want to be. Uh, thank you very much. Sorry. All right. It's just us. Please come out. No. Well, what are you going to do in the stall? You can't just stay in the stall. I like it in here. I don't have to look at your face. What are you doing now? I'm drowning myself in the toilet. You just hit me in the head with a roll of toilet. Incoming. I tried to reach you. I called everybody. Nobody would tell me where you were. I checked my my messages. You don't leave me any messages. You don't call me back. I called you. You did not. I checked my messages every hour on the hour like a fool, like an idiot. 
Or maybe your girlfriend erased it, so it'd give you an opportunity to have a little go around. Listen, I was with Natalia, I admit it, but just the one time. After that, I never went near her. You're near her in the elevator. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about after that time, I never touched her, which is more than I can say for you with Dylan up at the rehab. What were you doing uh, with him? Besides, I went with Dylan because I needed to get away after your girlfriend admitted you had slept together. Because my heart was broken because I couldn't believe you. You would ever, ever, ever betray me like that. Betray you? I walked in and I saw you in bed with another so man. Why you... did you go to her? Why did you come to me? Why? What are you going to say to me? That it wasn't me? I, I wasn't there? It wasn't me? Yes. Oh, come on. Seriously? Gus. Seriously? I never slept with Dylan. I saw you in bed with Dylan. I drank too much and I passed out. Dylan let you think what you thought. Right. I took care of Dylan. This is about you. Look, I care about Natalia, okay? I always have. She's my first love. But you are my, my soulmate. You, you are my heart. <laughs> you know this. I don't know what I am anymore. Look, Natalia was there because you weren't, because you were off with Dylan, and she was just nice to me and sweet and kind. And, but that's it. That's as far as it goes. I never thought that you could do this. You have always been so devoted to me and so I still loyal am. to me. I still am. No, you're not. Because you would have had faith. You would have had faith and you would have come to me instead of conveniently believing the worst so that you would have an excuse to go to her. Now look where we are. Uh, excuse me? Go away, please. I guess there are people waiting. Just tell them to use the men's room. I don't think so. Go away. You're making a scene. Baby, I love you. We're not leaving this bathroom till we figure it out, please. Can't you say that to me. I can't hear you say that to me when I see her, when all I see is Natalia in your arms, Natalia with you. Harley. Your mom is busy right now, okay? There are a line of people out there, and they're starting to ask questions, so... Could you guys maybe finish this at home? Okay. Baby. We will go out. We'll go out together as a family, okay? For appearance's sake. Buzz Cooper, the only candidate endorsed by the Springfield Board of Nurses, a man of the people, determined, honest, respected. I think you left something out. What did I leave out? Passionate. Oh, well, that's, that's true. true. It's true. <laughs> Mr. Mayor? Yes, yes ma'am. We're going home. Oh, so soon? Yes, well, you know, Gus and I promised those kids we'd make brownies. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you better go. Coopers always keep their promises. Okay, come on. I just uh, need just a second. Um, I'm gonna go talk to Harley for a bit. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You know where to find me if you need me. Just uh, tell Rafe I was looking for him and uh, say goodbye to him for me. Where's uh, Daisy? She decided she wants to stay. All right. Uh, is she with Rafe? Hey, you know, they'll be fine. You two go. The, the elevator's fixed. So.
Look, if you want to look at it like that, Mallet's one for you and Natalia's one for me, all right? But the difference is I thought you were dead when well, I was I wasn't dead. Out. I was very much alive. I, I know. Very I much alive. That. You want to keep going over this and over this and over this? You want to play this game? Happy anniversary! Hey! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> wow! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Did you guys forget? What? No, of course. We were, we were just out celebrating. Oh, no, yeah. We had, yeah. Hey, I can't believe this. Look at this decoration. Did you guys do this all by yourself? Daisy helped us. Daisy? Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> you were just at Towers. I was, but then Marina picked us up in her squad car and raced over here so we could beat you. <laughs> oh, you did this too? You, you oh, yeah. Well, this. Rafe wasn't part of the plan, but... Yeah. Uh, I'll go if it's not cool. Oh, You'll please. go where? What are you talking about? Your family. Anything <laughs> bad? Come on. Wow, this is, else, this is huh? something. Very impressive, you guys. Can you believe it? A couple of years ago, on this very day... We got married at company. We got married at company. It was magical. You guys are great kids. You're all so great. Thank you so much I for know. This. Let's look at the wedding album. That's a great idea. I, I don't actually remember where it is. I, oh, no, it, I, I have no idea. It's right here. I found it in your closet. Oh. Yeah. Right. It's like they were here, but we wanted to. I thought we were gonna go like hang out and eat Greek food. Well, we are, but I I was away at school when you guys got married, so I want all the details. Okay, come on, all the romantic stuff. Let's hear oh, it. All the romantic yeah. stuff. Wow. One thing I remember is I got to kiss your mom. So. I know that. I mean, like, were were you guys nervous? No, uh, we were not nervous. Well, what I remember is uh, we lost the rings there for a second. Remember? Uh, that's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> but then we found them. <laughs> yeah, we found them in the in a tree house. <laughs> in the tree house, it's a. In the tree house. By my dad's house. And uh, look, Blake and Mel and uh, Cassie and Rena, they were all my brides. Made something look pretty. Look so pretty. Yeah, what I remember most is uh, is uh, your mom. She came out and, um, well, I was waiting, first of all. I was waiting a long time. And I was panicking because I thought she wasn't going to come out at all. But then she did and walked down the aisle. She was beautiful and radiant and had the flowers in her hair. And she was uh, doubly beautiful because I, I was thinking that she was having second thoughts about even marrying me in the first place. <laughs> I never had second thoughts. Did you guys vow to uh, love each other in good times and bad and all that that stuff? Yes. All that stuff, sure. Mm -hmm. Boys are tucked in. Daisy's uh, actually reading. She's reading one of the books from her summer book reading list. She thinks she might be on chapter two. I can't believe you told the boys that you weren't nervous. I, I remember you being a basket case. I wasn't. What I remember most about that day is uh, when you walked down the aisle and you, you said something. You said something to me. happier than the moment I heard that word, hi. And I especially remember it because, because that's the moment that I put this ring on your finger. And it was the first time we kissed as husband and wife. I remember that kiss. I had kissed you a million times before, but I remember that kiss because... because it was sacred. My heart was pounding, and I was... I was dizzy, because I was so happy and overwhelmed. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. You can't do what? You can't do what? Honey, 
I like you too much to fight with you. I don't want to fight with you. Let's not fight then. All right? I realize... I realize what we're about to go through is very <laughs> difficult. Maybe even impossible, okay? But we belong together. So we have to try. We have to try. Tell me you're at least willing to try. Tell me that and that you're not willing to give up. I don't ever want to give up, okay? Okay. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how I wore a pair of your father's shoes to the wedding? No. Yeah. I, uh... I, I couldn't find mine, and, and, uh... It turns out that I had left them at the station in a drawer because they had this gum all over them, and I forgot to bring them home. <laughs> With cigarette ashes from that filthy ashtray in your drawer work. It wasn't gum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> we missed this. Mm. You know? Thanks. Just holding you. Loving you. Just being with you? No. What? No. Mm. No. We'll just take it, uh, take it slow. No, 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 I can't. I can't. I can't do it. It feels wrong. I just, I keep seeing her. I can't do it. Okay. It's too soon now. Too soon. Make your move, Zach. Hog all the pop. Make a move. Somebody make a move. He's out. No, I'm not. So then make a move. I hate this game. Can we play Happy Family? I'll be Happy Family if you just make a move. I'm out. Oh, he is Told out. you. Shut up. You shut up. Oh, hey. man, we don't use that kind of talk in this house. What's the matter with you guys? You and Mommy fight. Me and Mommy fight? We do? We don't you fight. fight. We disagree. Grown-ups disagree. Every grown-up disagrees. Sounds like fighting. Are you still in? Me? Am I still in? I got bad news for you. I think I won. Look at that. Read. What? That's not fair. You cheated. You cheated. Cheater. 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 Yeah, all right. Well, then keep looking, will you? All right, thank you very much. Hey. Next time, why don't you just take a break and eat like normal people do? And what are you doing here instead of being at the station, Chief? Uh, Dowdy's mother had open-heart surgery, and Slot had a tonsillectomy, so being that I'm the chief of police, I thought I'd check on my boys, make sure everybody was okay. And Gus was kind enough to bring me lunch, so I said, yes, I'll take it. Well, of course, it's your favorite word. Yes? As in yes. My sister is having marital trouble. And yeah, she and Gus have broken up before, and let me tell you all about it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Natalia. What about her? He told her about every single fight we'd ever had. No, 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 I did not, actually. 
I said that you guys had your share of troubles, just like everybody else had. You gave her ammunition to try to take him away from me, Frank. No, Why didn't I, you give her the keys to my house? No, I did time? not. Well, hold on one second here. I didn't tell her anything specific. Okay. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You're right. But you know what? It's, it's not like I was lying or anything. Well, you should have lied. You should have done whatever you had to do to protect me. I am your sister. And you should have just told her to leave town. But you couldn't let her go again, could you? Remember that time in the elevator? And I said, uh, nothing can touch this. And I pushed the stop button. Is that what happened in the elevator with Natalia? No. Alan did something to the elevator because he's trying to push us together. Of course he wants you to be together. I'll forget about it. And now he is. I know how he is. I also know he gets what he wants. Are you awake? Yeah. Mind if I watch TV? Sure. Uh, Jude is crying and upset, and he wants to go home. I gotta go pick him up from day camp. Why? What happened? Apparently, he fell asleep during arts and crafts, and when the teacher asked him why he was so tired, he said, because Mommy and Gus are fighting. Oh. Well, I'll come with you. Come on. You know what, actually? I'm, I'm tired, and I could use a nap, so I'm, I'll just pick him up, and then he and I can take a nap together. Sure, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm beat myself. Probably one of us should be at the station. Well, if I come to the house, wouldn't be a very good idea, right? It's not working, is it? No, I guess not. So what do you want to tell the boys? Just tell them the truth. We're taking a break. You don't want to talk about it anymore? We're talking for hours. We're talking for days. It's not getting any better, is it? All right. What do you want to do? Would you please get your jacket? The bus is going to be here any second. Oh, my Lord. Okay. I traded mine. You traded your brand new jacket for what? For this. A jar of mud? It's alien soil. Yeah, from the planet of Venus. <laughs> you better get you your jacket. You are going to Venus if I don't you get that jacket You better get your back. jacket. Today. And if you don't, I'm going to turn into Gussenstein. Today, I want that jacket back. I'm going to go and get you, and I'm going to clobber you. You better run. You better hide. Okay, guys. Yes? Seriously. Oh, yes. The bus is here, boys. Oh, the bus is here. The bus is here. The bus is here. Down here now, now, now. Here. So now they're jacketless. Fine. Just take, take it. It's going to be a nice day. Here. I'll hold on to the mud. The alien mud. Okay. Daisy's right outside. Shut the door. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I guess I should go. Yeah, it's just temporary, you know. It's just temporary. It's best for now. It's not forever. Right. I have, um... Your dry cleaning slip, so I'll just bring your shirts to you? That's all right. I'll get them. And the boys are going to be in that little uh, show at camp, so should I not go? No, oh, of course you should go. If you don't go, they'll be devastated. All right. I'll be there. All right. I'll just... I'll give you a call if I need you. Well, you can call me if you don't. I mean, even if you don't. All right. Hey. Well, I'm 
I'm glad that you're here. It's gonna be okay. I just wanted you to know that Harley and I decided to take a little breather. And I've gone over things in my mind and I've, uh, I've realized that no matter what, I really need to spend time with you. And this is, uh, this is where I wanna be. The only place. This has been Guiding Light.